China's Tianwen-3 mission is setting out to achieve something extraordinary, bringing Martian soil back to Earth. This groundbreaking mission aims to unlock answers to one of science's biggest questions. Did life ever exist on Mars? With cutting-edge technology, ambitious goals, and global collaboration, Tianwen-3 could redefine our understanding of the Red Planet and our place in the universe. Stay with us as we explore what makes this mission so revolutionary and why it matters for all of humanity. China's Tianwen-3 mission is set to redefine Mars exploration by achieving a feat few nations have dared to attempt, returning Martian soil and rock samples to Earth. Scheduled for two critical launches in 2028, the mission aims to deliver these samples by 2031. If successful, it will mark a milestone in space science, offering insights into Mars's history, geology, and potential to host life. The mission's primary objective is clear to search for biosignatures, chemical, or physical markers of past or present life. Unlike orbiters or rovers that can only provide remote or surface-level data, Tianwen-3 aims to collect and return pristine samples, enabling detailed analysis in laboratories on Earth. These studies could reveal whether Mars once had conditions suitable for life, advancing our understanding of planetary habitability. The key to achieving these objectives is the careful selection of sampling sites. Scientists have shortlisted 86 potential landing locations, focusing on areas with diverse geological features. Christ Planitia, a lowland region, and Utopia Planitia, a massive plain, are among the top contenders. These sites boast ancient river deltas, lake beds, and even potential shorelines, making them prime candidates for finding preserved evidence of ancient life. Additionally, these locations have subsurface materials that could provide more detailed insights into Mars's geological history. What makes this mission especially ambitious is the scale of its design. A two-launch system will ensure operational efficiency. The first launch will send a lander equipped with sampling tools to Mars, while the second will deploy an orbiter and return module. Once the lander collects the samples, it will use an ascent vehicle to rendezvous with the orbiting module, which will then begin its journey back to Earth. This intricate choreography requires precision at every stage. Tianwen-3 is not just about collecting Martian soil. It's about understanding a piece of Mars's history. What secrets lie beneath its surface? Can we find signs of ancient microbes or even organic molecules that hint at life? This mission promises answers to these questions while paving the way for future exploration, including the possibility of human missions. China's Tianwen-3 mission is not only ambitious but also a showcase of groundbreaking technology and engineering. The dual launch strategy is a centerpiece of this mission, optimizing the division of labor between the lander and the orbiter. While other space agencies are working on similar missions, China's approach uniquely combines innovation and operational efficiency. The mission's lander must accomplish one of the most challenging aspects of the endeavor a precise soft landing on Mars's surface. Landing on Mars is notoriously difficult due to its thin atmosphere, which offers little resistance to slow down incoming spacecraft. To address this, Tianwen-3 will deploy advanced navigation systems, including terrain relative navigation, to ensure a safe and accurate landing. This is critical because the chosen landing site will also serve as the sample collection area. Once on the Martian surface, the lander's sampling tools, including robotic arms and drills, will gather material from both the surface and subsurface layers. The inclusion of subsurface sampling is a significant advantage as these layers are more likely to preserve organic molecules or biosignatures, shielded from the harsh radiation and weathering that affect the surface. The next phase is equally challenging launching the collected samples back into Martian orbit. The ascent vehicle, carrying a sealed sample container, must rendezvous with the orbiting return module. This step involves impeccable timing and precision. A successful docking will mark the first time samples have been transferred in space around another planet. The journey back to Earth also demands rigorous planning. The return module will re-enter Earth's atmosphere at high speeds, necessitating heat shields capable of withstanding extreme temperatures. Additionally, the samples must remain uncontaminated, requiring cutting-edge containment systems to ensure their pristine condition upon arrival. Despite its innovative design, 
Tianwen-3 faces significant challenges. The harsh Martian environment, with its extreme temperatures, dust storms, and thin atmosphere, poses risks to both the lander and the sampling tools. Furthermore, the complexity of coordinating dual launches, sample transfers, and a safe return highlights the mission's high stakes. The Tianwen-3 mission is not just a testament to China's growing expertise in space exploration, it is also a symbol of international collaboration. In an era where global partnerships are increasingly critical for advancing science, China has extended invitations to international scientists and organizations to contribute to this ambitious project. One of the most exciting aspects of this collaboration is the inclusion of globally developed instruments on the mission. By integrating payloads designed by international partners, Tianwen-3 becomes a shared scientific endeavor. This approach ensures that the mission benefits from diverse expertise and resources, maximizing its scientific yield. Once the samples return to Earth, they will undergo detailed analysis by teams from around the world. Chinese scientists will work alongside international researchers to study the samples, pooling their collective knowledge to unlock Mars's secrets. This level of cooperation reflects the global nature of space exploration, where discoveries belong to humanity as a whole. The implications of Tianwen-3 extend far beyond the mission itself. Successfully returning Martian samples to Earth would position China as a leader in planetary science, potentially rivaling NASA and the European Space Agency. This achievement would demonstrate China's capability to tackle complex interplanetary missions, paving the way for future explorations. Looking ahead, the insights gained from Tianwen-3 could inform the next steps in Mars exploration. For instance, understanding the planet's geology and potential biosignatures could guide the design of future robotic or even crewed missions. The mission could also provide crucial data for planning Mars colonization, including identifying resources and understanding environmental challenges. Tianwen-3 is part of a broader vision for space exploration. Following this mission, China plans to launch Tianwen-4, which will target the Jupiter system. By exploring Jupiter and its moons, China aims to expand humanity's understanding of the outer solar system, tackling questions about the formation and evolution of giant planets. In many ways, Tianwen-3 is more than just a mission to Mars. It represents a shift in how space exploration is conducted through collaboration, innovation, and a relentless drive to push the boundaries of what is possible. This mission not only advances our understanding of Mars, but also underscores the importance of working together to explore the final frontier. China's Tianwen-3 mission represents a monumental step in Mars exploration, with the potential to return Martian samples to Earth by 2031. By employing innovative technologies and fostering international collaboration, the mission aims to deepen our understanding of Mars's potential to harbor life. As we await the mission's progress, the prospect of analyzing Martian samples on Earth brings us closer to answering profound questions about life beyond our planet. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like, share, and subscribe for more updates on space exploration and scientific discoveries.